right, guys, this is Mrs. Rewrite, and we're going to go over our homework on Law of Signs. We're just going to review some of the problems from the free CUDA worksheet that we did for homework. Number four, find AB. So if we're finding side AB, side AB is across from angle C, so we're going to call it side C. So 63 degrees is across from side C. We need a perfect pair. So in this problem, 101 degrees goes with an unknown side, and A degrees goes with an unknown side. However, there is one of these two that there is a piece of information we can find easily. Angle A, we know because 180 minus 101 is 79 degrees, and 79 minus 63 is 8 degrees. Is everyone in agreement? Like, does everyone agree that one, um, 8 degrees plus 101 is 109 degrees? 63 plus 9? Does that add up to 180? No. No. What did we screw up? 180 minus 101 minus 63. We're going to have 16 degrees. Wow. How did we screw that up? I have no idea. All right. So 16 degrees. All right. Now, are we in agreement? Are we in agreement that those add up to 180? 16 plus 63. 79 plus 1 is 80, right? So we're good. So now that we have the 16 degrees, 16 degrees is opposite of side 9. So sine of 16 degrees is to 9, as sine of 63 is to side C. Cross products and solve. So 9 times sine 63 equals C times sine 16. Sometimes people like to put parentheses so that you can see that it's sine of 63 degrees times 9. If you need to separate it just visually, that's fine. You can always do that. So to get C by itself, I need to divide out sine 16. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. And now I pick up my calculator. Let me zoom this out a little bit so you guys can see the calculations. So 63 sine times 9 equals divide by 16 sine. So 63 sine times 9 equals divided by 16 sine equals. And we're going to get that C is 29.0927, rounded to the nearest tenth, 29.1. C is 29.1. Let's look at our next problem, number six. We're looking for angle C. Our C goes with side 21. If I look at B, I don't know angle B, so I don't have a perfect pair. I can only have one unknown out of the four pieces of information, so this is not going to work. However, A, I have both pieces of information. I have the angle and the side opposite it. So I have one, two, three out of the four pieces of information. Sine 88 is to side 26, as sine C is to side 21. Cross products and solve. 26 times sine C equals 21 times sine 88. Divide by 26 on both sides, and we get that sine C equals all of that. To solve for an unknown angle, we need to use the inverse. So the inverse sine of 21 sine 88 over 26 equals angle C. Pick up our calculator. 88 sine times 21 equals, divided by 26 equals second sine. C equals 53.823 and so on. So it's going to be 53.8 and it's an angle, so degrees. And that is a quick little review of the law of signs.